Now Rebecca is though, and so I've got a whole bunch of people that have handed things in, but you did not put your name on it, and since you did not put your name on it, I don't know, um, oh, wait, I don't know who this uh, belongs to. You guys got, thank you for pass. Do you have passes? No. Then you shouldn't be late. Sorry. Could you please pass this back to Kendall? All right, so we handed in yesterday weather fronts. If you were not here and you have not already given this to me, please make sure that you hand that in to me. And then we've got several with no names. So I'm going to go ahead and put them at table one. And if you're somebody that's like, I know that I handed it in, then look at the handwriting of all of these that have no names on them on table one. Put your darn name on it and then go ahead and give that back to me. The rest of you, if you could please look at the fabulous question of the day and write that down, I would appreciate it. It says, hey, what makes Tornado Alley a hotbed of tornado activity? So if you could write that down, that's a direct reflection on what we did yesterday. Could you please, Ethan, get your notebook out and get this daily question written down? Dun, dun, dun. Thank you. I understand you're leaving early, is that right? Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, right there on the edge, there's paper. Thank you, dear. Thanks for putting your name on it. All right, my little small things. Are we writing this down? Are we talking? No, we're not. We're talking about things that don't matter right now except for this. So if you could write that down, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and be quiet for one minute, which is tough for me. That allows you to be quiet for one minute so that you can think about this. If you need to go ahead and get information out, what could help you? Your notes. Yeah, thanks. Your notes from yesterday. And we're going to go ahead and finish up with those notes um, today. We're going to talk about the seasons. So, again, I told you I was going to be quiet, and I really mean it this time. I'm going to be quiet, and I'm going to take attendance. I see when I do that, I'm like, oh, a cold front cold. going under a warm front. And a it's crazy how science teachers see the world. Three, two, one, and we, my darlings, are All right, so let's go ahead and talk about what we have here. It says, what makes Tornado Alley a hotbed of tornado activity? Push one away, Alex. What are the things that we need for tornadoes to form? Oh, uh, oh I am disappointed right rain. now because you were doing all of your chit-chatting no, and talking and not paying it, attention. I got it, I got it. Wrong. You need a warm and a cold front. Okay, you need a warm ma air mass and a cold air mass. Cole, please turn that over this way so we can see. So you need warm air and you need cold air, but I think there's something missing there. What are we missing, Sam? The warm air needs to be wet. Yeah, we need warm air that's moist or humid, right? Humidity. And cold air that needs to be what? Dry. Dry. I think your phone's ringing. It is. I just wanted to finish that one thought, but thank you so very much. This is Marianne. How can I help you? This is Marianne. How can I help you? <laughs> 
I sure will. I sure will. I sound just like her. All right, so we need warm, moist air, and we need cold, dry air. And what do they need to do? Uh, collide. Meet together. That's what I said. I said collide. Okay, so I'm writing what you said. Good job. Oh. So then warm air, which is moist, cold air, which is dry. Which one is going to go under the other? Cold air. Why? Cullen. Yeah, this one is more dense. So cold air, more dense uh, forces, warm slash wet air up. This equals storm clouds, possible tornadoes. Tornadoes will not form if there is not a storm. What do we call warm, moist air? What's the technical science term for that? It's warm, tropical. Okay, so we've got this is tropical what? Maritime. Yeah, maritime, meaning it comes from the uh, marine environment, the ocean. What about cold, dry air? Oh, continental. Polar continental, nice. I know. Where does the cold, dry air come from in the United States? Canada. Boom, you're on fire! Best Canada, this is where we get this. Where does okay. tropical maritime come from? Cullen. Gulf of Mexico. I can't write this fast. I'm sorry, I'm blocking. I apologize. Why is it that it all stays in one area like a tour, like an alley? Why is it that it stays in an alley Rocky area? Mountains. What mountains are those? Oh, Rocky, right? The Rocky Mountains. Yeah. It's the Rocky Mountains that kind of force it all, as we noticed from the data yesterday, into that Great Plains area. So the Great Plains is uh, all that warm air and cold air is forced to stay there because the Rocky Mountains acts like a big wall. What happened to the storm yesterday? Kind of cootered out, didn't it? Everything kind of just went uh, to the north. It's hard to forecast and, you know, weather is unpredictable, winds are unpredictable. They try to do their best, but it kind of shifted. But of course, you have to err on the side of caution. And so I think an hour out early was probably well done to prevent anything serious that happened. I agree. I like it. We have to go ahead and finish our activity from yesterday. So if you could please get out the sheet of paper from yesterday that looks like, I don't have one, oh, this one. It looks like Investigation Tornado Alley. For those of you that were gone, um, I have a video recording from yesterday's class on Canvas. You can go ahead and check, check, check that out. But if you could turn it over on the back. I believe that we got through all of questions seven, eight, and nine. Is that true, or do we need to finish? We got through them. We got through them? Great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at, we're going to look at the section that is right here, and it says where tornadoes uh, occur during the seasons. You have seen how tornadoes can occur close together over land. They can also occur close together over time. In this step, we're going to look at where tornadoes occur during each season of the year and in each region of the United States. So we have to go back to our map one more time. I'm so excited. I'm working on your exam. You want to see it really quick? Yeah. Let me see. There it is. Can you see it? Yeah. There's no. a little tiny bit of it. It looks so cool. I think you should click on it. Can you like press on it? <laughs> yeah, zoom in. You guys are gonna be great. I'm not gonna be here tomorrow. I'm so sorry for you. I'm gonna miss you. Alright. 
Let's go ahead and look at the instructions. Here's the United States. There's where all of the states are in the United States. Let's go ahead and open up all of our um, tabs on the side. And then we're going to go ahead and look at do, 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 following all of these directions. Turn on the United States layer. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the United States layer. It is. I'm going to turn off the outline like that. I don't know why. Um, hover over the spring. So let's go ahead and look at spring. Uh, oops, I'm sorry, winter. Let's start with winter. You know, get rid of spring. All right, so let's go ahead and start with winter. And if we look at winter, where do we see most tornadoes occurring in the winter time? Southeast. All right, those are our choices, right? We got Midwest, Northeast, South, and West. Jaren says in the um, South. How many of you agree? Me too. Why? Don't tell me why you agree. Why is that the area in the winter where um, they all kind of form? With your pair share partner, knowing what we've talked about on the capture question, let's see if we can figure out why is it that during the winter time, here's going to be a concentration of the tornadoes. I'll give you 10 seconds. Ready, set, go. I think that is when they both die. Yeah, it's when they die. Stop listening to our conversation. What do we think? I think that's when the cold air front and warm air front meet. Yeah, look at this. So it's winter time. This whole area is going to be cold. So all this dry, cold air is able to reach all the way down here, and it's meeting with this warm, moist air in that area. So we've got a meeting of these two air masses. One is continental polar, one is maritime tropical. And because the cold air has gone so far down, the warm air has not been able to penetrate very far up. That's where all of our um, winter tornadoes will be. So now let's go ahead and check springtime. I'm guessing we know where the springtime tornadoes are going to be because where do we live? Iowa. And when do we have most of our tornadoes? Spring. In the springtime. So in this case, we see a concentration of them located where? Midwest. Midwest. On your big bed. Circle that up. And again, why is that? That's where the front is. Yeah, so now we've got more of that warm air mass has been able to penetrate farther in. So this area is warming up. That warm, wet air is coming up here. And now the cold air is not going down as far. Fabulous. It's just all about where the two of them meet. What number was that so that Sazai can get in? That was 10. So that was 11. Can you pay attention? Stop talking to uh, Kendall. All right, so now summer tornadoes. Ooh. Now we have them less down here. Why do we have less down here? Because the warm air front's out. Well, the warm air is, we got lots of warm moist air, but what are we missing? The cold air. Right. So the cold, dry air now can't get down this far. And so since the cold, dry air now is not going to get down this far, we have less of an occurrence of tornadoes. They still have your occasional tornadoes, but not like we've got now up in this general area. So we're still in the Midwest, but what are we? We're higher up in the Midwest. You see where we are now? See. Closer to the Canadian border? Do you think Canada has tornadoes? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's not like it just stops, right? Think about all the tornadoes that continue up. All right, and so then, what do we think about fall? It's Ooh, I'm a, I'm probably against, in the middle I'm against, of the south. Uh, top of the Midwest. Let's see. I'm against down. I'm against, I'm against down. Oh. You're right. Why now is it back down in this concentration? Oh, because it's colder. Yeah, now it's getting colder again, and we're getting more of that cool, air being able to come down in this area, we've got that moist air um, there. So for fall, it would be what? South. Yeah, it'd be more like in the south, southeast area. Are we good? Rebecca, are you with me? 
So it's all about where those air masses meet. Simple, yet effective. Create storms from storms, possible um, tornadoes. I'm very excited about your exam that you're going to have tomorrow. I think it's fair, but, you know, I think it's going to be good. What I want to do now is I want to continue working on that exam. You um, have to go ahead and... For those of you that were gone yesterday or any other day, I have posted um, material on Canvas that you can look at if you are finished with this. This is, because you get this piece of paper out, my darlings, it says Tornado Lab Investigation from NOAA. Does anybody know what NOAA stands for? National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Good jobs are available there. Good jobs. Whoa. It says, once complete, answer the questions on the back side. I got rid of the questions on the back side because I wanted to put that great uh, picture of the tornado and what we needed on the front side. So what you're going to do with this is you're going to see if you can, using the rankings, recreate Tornado Alley. I want you to look at the key, and I want you to color code this thing. That's what you're going to be doing. So everybody has colors. It's a nice coloring day. And once you're done... The time is yours to work on what you need to to get ready for tomorrow's exam. So if you need to, you know, get all of your materials kind of organized, because don't forget you get to use your materials for the exam tomorrow, you can do that. What, honey? No, honey, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that, darling. All right, so Cole, I need you to shut that off, please. Don't forget you've got your exam.